Patrol. Bye, Bob. See you later. Come here, baby T-Rex. You out here anywhere? Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger OB. I found a pack of, of Patasauruses. Oh, cool. Where are you anyway? I'm by the lake. Okay, well, I'm over here at the park making sure that baby T-Rex isn't on the loose. You know, it's gonna scare somebody away. So how about you come on back over here and we'll meet up, okay? Okay. Cool, 10-4. All right, Park Ranger OB found some Patasauruses. That's cool. T-Rex went this way. Okay, baby T-Rex, you're around here. Come on, baby T-Rex. Okay, straight that way. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh. What is that? I don't know, but I better dig it up with my shovel. Okay, let's go through this. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. What was that? Thought I heard a dinosaur out there somewhere. Man. It's scary out here in these woods. Scoop that in. Whoa! Oh, cool. This is a bone. That might mean maybe it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa! Come in, Park Ranger Aaron. Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger OB. I found a bone. You found a bone? Is it a dinosaur bone? I don't know. I think so. You gotta get here right now! Oh, cool, man. This sounds awesome. I can't believe you found a bone. I'll be right there. We'll check it out, okay? Okay. Ranger B found a dinosaur bone. Mm, I think it's that way. Okay, I'll go this way. Put that in there. Zip it all okay, Park Ranger B, where is it? Where's, oh, where's the bone? The bone. Oh. oh, yeah. It's heavy. Oh, oh wow. Oh, look that's at that. really bone. heavy. <laughs> I think you hit the mother load. Yeah. <laughs> A real bone. I think this is a dinosaur bone. It's probably from a new species, like a huge, big, scary dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought it was like an old species. You know, I see these in the museum all the time. No, 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 no. It's a brand new species. We're gonna make headlines with this species we discovered. You know? No, I think it's still an old one. You know? Okay. Well, you know what? I know who can tell us. Who? Okay, I know this paleontologist. He's named Nate. And he's out in Los Angeles in California. He'll be able to examine it and tell us what kind of dinosaur it is. Yeah! Okay, cool. I still think it's an old species, though. No, I know it's new. I'll challenge you to prove that this is from a new species, okay? Okay. We just gotta get on a plane and go to California. Okay, let's go. Right. California? Yeah, we gotta go to California, get him to look at it. No, I thought we were doing a meet and greet and Jurassic Quest in Dallas. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Hey, you know what? Just hop on a plane, pop over to California, get him to look at the bone, come back in time for the meet and greet. Yeah! All right, let's get out of here, let's go to California. Hey, park rangers, if you'd like to come see us in Dallas for our meet and greet at Jurassic Quest, get your parents to go check out our Facebook page. We'll be in Dallas December 7th, 2019. Hope to see you there. Come on, park ranger, let's go to California. Oh, look, Park Ranger OB, it's the dueling dinosaurs. Yeah, the dueling dinosaurs. Okay, so we're here at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. We're gonna learn all about dinosaurs down in, Antar in the Antarctic, okay? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna meet up with Nate. He's a paleontologist. He discovered his own species of dinosaurs. Not really his, now it's for the whole world, okay? Okay. It's so cool. All right, I think the exhibit's this way. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, get your, roar! Hey, what are you doing over here, man? Oh, I'm just comparing the bone. 
No, this is not like the bone we found. I'm telling you, it's a new species, okay? He's gonna be so excited. Just check this yeah, out. Yeah, right. Whoa, we're going through a portal. Hey, I think this is Antarctica here. Antarctica? Yeah, maybe we can find some bones around here. Oh, hey, maybe this. No, the bone isn't that big. It's not that bone right there. Really? It's a new bone. I'm telling you, it's a new species. Are these power tools? Awesome, man. Who knew they had power tools down in Antarctica, huh? Oh, hey, How's it going? Hey. hey, it's Nate Smith. Hey. He's the paleontologist I was telling you about. Yeah. Welcome to the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Thanks, Nate, for having us out to learn all about the new species of dinosaurs that you found, right? Yeah, it looks like you guys are getting geared up to hunt some Antarctic dinosaurs yeah. right now. This is heavy equipment, so you've got to be wearing the right gear. Let me get you right some of these. Here. Oh, oh boots. boots. These are some of the mountaineering boots we wear in Antarctica. You want to try them on? These actually went to Antarctica? Yeah, so I wore these on our expedition in 2003 and also 2010. Well, so you can, can try fit those in on there, Park Ranger LB. Oh, yeah, they fit. Oh, yeah. All okay. right. Now you're so nice and toasty. It. So, what is this? A jackhammer? So, this is one of our electric jackhammers. Yeah. Jackhammer, okay. Just give you that a try. You grab hold and push it forward, you can fire it up. There you go. Oh, Feel that? Cool. <laughs> wow. Well, don't forget your earmuffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need this. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, Pretty that's cool, so huh? Cool. Okay, so what else you got over? Oh, I see more. Well, over here we've got some of the sledgehammers we use and even the rock saw. This is kind of a, a large concrete saw that we'll use to cut blocks. Does this one fire up too? Yeah, this one you kind of slide forward and back. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. here, you give that a try and I'll make the noise, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. But you don't use this for the actual, like, down when you get down to the fossils, right? This would be too bright. This is just to collect the, the dinosaurs, but once we've got the fossils back in the lab, we use real specialized tools. Oh, okay. Is that what this is over here? Yeah, so here you can see a little air scribe. This is almost like what you might find in a dentist's office. Oh, is yeah, this... you can peer through and see how we actually prepare fossils with that tool. Oh, yeah. Awesome, okay. Which way to the exhibit, huh? Well, let's go this way. So now we're going to see what Antarctica was like before the age of dinosaurs. So there's dinosaurs in Antarctica? There's dinosaurs yeah. in Antarctica and there's animals even older than dinosaurs in Antarctica, like Whoa. Lystrosaurus or Thrinaxodon. So you know where Antarctica is, right? Yeah, it's down. Yeah, it's the South Pole, right? Yeah, south pole. Down at the South Pole. So these are what the continents look like today, right? With Antarctica over the South Pole. Oh, yeah. But several hundred million years ago, it was a very different configuration. Oh, that's right, Pangaea. So about 250 million years ago, Antarctica was connected to the other continents. Okay, so it's all one big continent, so whatever dinosaurs lived in one could move to the other, right? Yeah, exactly. These animals could move between the continents back then. So what's this big dinosaur right here? So this is a replica of Cryolobosaurus, one of the most famous dinosaurs from Antarctica. Wait, in that, in this too? This is the skeleton of Cryolobosaurus. Cryo is frozen, frozen crested lizard. In real life, this is what Cryolobosaurus probably would have looked like. So a lot of these carnivorous dinosaurs we know had feathers, and some of them even had these fine filaments like this. So these are some of our new dinosaurs from Antarctica. Okay, the sauropodomorph. Sauropodomorph. And they probably look like some dinosaurs you're familiar with, the real giant sauropods, right? Oh, yeah. Diplodocus, Apatosaurus. These are the cousins of those dinosaurs. And this one looks pretty small in particular, but that's because it's only known from a skeleton that's about four or five years old. So he's still just a baby. So is this what the Cryolophosaurus ate? Yeah, these animals might have been on the dinner menu for Cryolophosaurus. What's that? This is Kanuasaurus. So this is actually a relative of Mosasaurus. This is a, another type of Mosasaur, which is a group of marine reptiles that lived during the age of dinosaurs. Oh, and so a Mosasaurus is part of the Mosasaur group, right? Exactly. So this animal isn't a dinosaur or a fish or a shark. It's actually really? related to lizards. Also, I finally understand that now. You got it? Yeah. Huh? I hey, get look. It There's penguins over here. Penguins! There were penguins back in the dinosaur era? Well, not long after the end of the age of dinosaurs, it doesn't take that long for dinosaurs to come back to Antarctica in the form of modern birds like penguins. Oh. So modern birds are dinosaurs in the same way that bats are a special type of mammal. All right, another portal here. This is the last thing I wanted to show you was about all the other science that takes place in Antarctica. So we have folks like me studying glaciers. Oh and actually even taking cores from the ice itself. This is a replica of one of these ice cores that comes from Antarctica. Well, hey, I think we're near the end, but we've got a really important question for you, Nate. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Well, Nate, that was pretty cool, the Antarctic dinosaurs you found down there at the South Pole. Man, I can't believe we actually discovered real dinosaur now. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got something that's gonna blow your mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's your question? Okay, yeah, check this out. Look at this bad boy right here. Oh, wow. Check out this 
dinosaur bone specimen. This is pretty delicate. Yeah. yeah. The preservation looks really good. It's pretty fresh. Well, that's because we found it uh, on the banks of a lake down near T-Rex Ranch. So what do you think this is, huh? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. It, it looks bovid. Is that like a really big species? Yeah. No, no, it's a uh, boss taurus, I think. This is a new species you ever seen before, right? <laughs> this is a cow bone for a dog. What? A dog bone. Essentially a big dog bone. Oh, man, you found a dog bone at the lake. No wonder the cats are all over it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you should take it back. I don't really do mammals. Well, Nate, hey, we appreciate your time. It's great having you both out at the Natural History Museum. Thank you very much for showing us the Antarctic Dinosaurs exhibit. It's amazing what you found. We learned a lot, didn't we? Yep. Okay, cool. You know what? I think we should go check out some of the dinosaur bones over here. There's okay. lots more to see, guys. All right. Thanks, Bye. Nate. Yeah, take Bye. care. Bye. See you later. Okay, Park Ranger OB, so we flew all the way out here to Los Angeles for the bone, and now what are we gonna do that we're here, huh? Um, Legoland! Yeah, Legoland's a good idea. Yeah. Or we could, <gasps> T-Rex! What, where's that? It's right there, it's a T-Rex! No, that's a Coliseum. No, that's a T-Rex! Wait, get out of here! Hide behind the tree! Why is there a T-Rex? Everywhere we go, there's always a T-Rex, man. We gotta figure out some way to get rid of this dinosaur. Uh, can we use a bone? Well, where are we gonna get a bone, huh? Inside? No. Mm -hmm. They'll let us have those bones in there. Wait a minute! What? The dog bone! Oh, that's right, the dog bone! Yeah. Okay, here we go. Good idea. Let's get this dog bone here. Here we go. Okay, you gonna throw it? Yeah. Okay, well, be careful out there okay. then, okay? Three, two, be careful now. one! Throw it! Yeah! Oh! There he goes! T-Rex is going for it! It worked! He's gone! He took off, man! I'm out of here! I think I'm in the right place. I feel like we're forgetting something. I got the day tripper that transported me here alone from T-Rex Ranch and... Oh, day tripper! Yes, Park Ranger Andy? Did you forget someone? Hello? You know what? I did forget to have a second Park Ranger to your chosen destination. <laughs> That's my bad. Hold please. Whoa! Where am I? Park Ranger Andy! Asher? Yeah. Who are you expecting? Uh, no, it's just uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you, though. Now, hold on a second. I, I need a minute. Totally unrelated. Hey, Day Tripper, what happened to Park Ranger AJ? He's on vacation. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Okay, Park Ranger Asher, are you ready for an adventure? You bet! Good, because today we're at the California Living Museum in Bakersfield, and I have prepared for us a very big adventure. What are we going to do? We are going to, drum roll please. Is that the best you can do with a drum roll? I've never had to do a drum roll before. You gotta do it like this. I think we nailed it. Yes, we are here to learn about the other animals that we see at T-Rex Ranch. So I have prepared for us a scavenger hunt. What's wrong? Just a scavenger hunt? Where we go find these animals in this picture? Yeah, it's fun, right? Sure. But how about we make it even more fun by using my new gadget, the brain fart. The brain fart, huh? What's it do? You hold it up to your forehead, say a word, and then you forget everything you know about that word for an hour. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Yeah, you and me both, Day Tripper. Come on, all you need to do is say the word animals, and today will feel like a completely new experience. Okay, let's give it a go. And... Animals! I hope this works. Wait, what? Do you feel okay? Yeah, I feel fine. But I don't think your gadget worked. Let's find out. Park Ranger Andy, can you tell me what this animal is? Yeah, of course. That's a, uh, I mean, look, that's obviously a, uh, uh, well, I mean, look, it's got, uh, it's got a hair and it's got a nose. I mean, it's a hair nose. Why can't I remember its name? Another perfect invention. Let's go to the museum. Wait, aren't you going to use a brain fart machine on yourself? Nah, it's way more fun this way. Uh, no 
for me. Hi, welcome to the California Living Museum. We are a California native wildlife education and rehabilitation center, which means most of the animals you see here today are rescued. Our goal is to educate everyone about California wildlife. Is there any animal in particular you'd like to see or learn more about? Oh yeah, all of them. I have forgotten everything I've ever known about animals. In fact, I'm not even sure what the word animal means. Okay. Park Ranger Andy had a brain fart today, so we can make our scavenger hunt more fun. This is a great list. Let's see what animals we can find. These are the most amazing creatures I've ever seen. Hey, wait for me. These are Rufus and Roxy, our bobcats. Hi, Rufus and Roxy. Bobcats are very secretive and are seldom seen in the wild, so this is a rare sighting. Let's go see my other favorite wildcat. Hi, Rufus and Roxy! Whoa. Who are these long furry gentlemen? These ladies are Sage, Laurel, and Misty, our mountain lions, also known as a puma, panther, or cougar. These mountain lions are the largest wildcats in North America, but unlike other wildcats, they can't roar. Instead, they huss and purr like a house cat. Time to check off two California cats from our scavenger list. Oh yeah, and I'm never gonna forget the first animal I ever learned about, the lion mountain. Mountain lion. Is that what I said? No. Hey, what's that over there? Let's go see. This is Peanut. He's our great horned owl. And great horned owls are also known as tigers of the sky. Tigers of the sky. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Look at those eyes. They're huge. How does he do that? Oh, my eyes are drying out. Same. Let's go see some more birds of prey. Let's go. This is Spirit and Lassen, our eagles. And of course, the bald eagle is a national bird. Its wing spans up to three feet. The bald eagle can fly 65 miles per hour at heights of 10 to 15,000 feet and spots its prey over a mile below. They swoop down at amazing speeds of 200 miles per hour and lift their prey with their powerful talons. With their talons? They must be pretty talented, huh? <laughs> Do you want to go see an even bigger bird? Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Let's go! California condor. How does your wingspan measure up to a condor's? Let's see. Mm. Looks like you got a lot of growing to do. Why don't you try? Oh. Got some growing to do too. And these are the California condors, the largest flying bird in North America with a wingspan of nine and a half feet. What are their names? They actually don't have names because at one point there were only 22 California condors left. And due to conservation efforts, those numbers are rising. So you're looking at 324 and 250. So these creatures are basically little flying airplanes. Yes, kind of like feathered little airplanes that also like dead things. See, do I know about animals or what? Time to check off bald eagle, California condor, and great horned owl. Not for nothing, those other two birds are pretty great too. I agree, Park Ranger. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, hair on that eagle. Didn't look bald to me. This is Snapdragon. He's our striped skunk and has been with us for nine years. And he's nine years old too. What's that smell? Oh, that's a skunk. Why does he smell so bad? Great question. Snapdragon has a scent gland that produces a nasty smell and it protects him against all the predators in the wild. He's a small animal, so he needs a big nasty smell. Fascinating animal. Skunk? Check. Yes, skunk, skunk. Skunk? Who names these animals? I don't know. Probably Skunkologist. That's a good guess. 
Next up, we have one of California's most visible predators, the coyote. You might recognize these guys. That's Sandy, Zuko, and Poppy, our coyotes. These guys look like my dogs. Oh yeah? What's a dog? <laughs> I'm almost ready for you to remember animals again. Coyote? Check. You probably won't have any coyotes howl back at you. Oh, okay. Let's go see some animals. Oh. And these are our bighorn sheep. We've got Agnes, Sierra, Diane, Ramona, and Emma. Not only do they have big horns, but they're also built to stand on steep terrain to avoid predators. I love these guys. I mean, those horns. They mean business. Like a sign that says, open for business. <laughs> Desert bighorn sheep? Check. <laughs> and finally, I'm proud to introduce Cinnamon and Louie. I know this one. The hair nose, remember? <laughs> They're actually our black bears. And black bears love anything organic, like fruits and vegetables, insects, and even honey. I have a question. Is this the same bear that's on the California flag? That's actually the grizzly bear. Grizzly bears used to roam around California, but not anymore. Now it's just the black bears. That's very interesting. Thanks for showing us around today. Yes, thank you so much. I have literally learned everything I know about animals from you. Happy to help. Last but not least, the black bear. Good old hair nose. <laughs> Feel free to wander around our living museum. Thanks so much and we hope to see you real soon. See you soon. It's a great idea. Why don't we check out the rest of the zoo? I think I saw some goats and some donkeys that we should probably meet. Aw, you remember animals again? I never forgot about animals. In fact, I don't think your brain fart machine works at all. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go meet some goats. Yeah, last one has a brain fart. Hey! doing here, Park Ranger Andy? This isn't T-Rex Ranch. You're right, Park Ranger AJ, it's not. But it's similar. This is Reptacular Ranch, where instead of seeing dinosaurs, we're gonna see snakes. Yes! Reptiles! Cool. And tarantulas! And camels! Wait, are camels even reptiles? I don't know. Hey, what do you think's in a camel's hump? Coffee? I don't know. Let's go find out. Yes! <laughs> wow, this place is amazing! Magical. Do you think there's dinosaurs in those hills? You never know, Park Ranger AJ. You never know. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. And I'm Park Ranger Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Diego. I'm an animal keeper here at Reptacular Ranch. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. So what animals are we going to be seeing today? So today you guys will be seeing a red tegu, uh, Asian water monitor, some California desert tortoises, uh, you guys will be seeing a tarantula, Ugh. a couple of snakes, and I hear you guys are going to be meeting Herbie the camel. The highlight of my day! Are we going to see any dinosaurs? So, unfortunately, dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago. But we are going to get to meet some other descendants. So come on, I'll show you guys around. Great! Thanks. Super exciting! Oh! Water crossing! I got this. Uh, guys... There is a bridge. We're on an, an adventure! adventure! All right, Rangers, you guys ready to meet your first animal? Sure! sure. This is the home of Aang, the Asian water monitor. He's a pretty cool lizard. So, without further ado. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, usually it does get that reaction. These guys originate in Southeast Asia. They, in nature, are carnivores out in the wild. But in captivity, this guy eats mice, rats, dog food, and veggies. Sounds like you. Eat anything. True to his name, they are excellent swimmers. 
does love water, and they also have a very long tongue that allows him to sense the world around him. So, do you guys want to take him out for a walk? Yes! You could do that? Of course. Let's get a harness on him and we'll go out for a walk. Let's go! Nice day for a walk. Yeah, with our lizard buddy. Yeah, enjoying it outside? I think that means yes. What kind of dinosaur do you think that looks like? Looks kind of like a Dimetrodon. You're right. The Dimetrodon's tongue is not that long. True. Where do you think he's going now? I think back. All right, maybe we should see some other animals. Yeah. Let's take him back. This is Red Bull, the Red Tegu. Can I hold him? Of course. All right, here you go. So, Red Tegus originate from Argentina. They are arboreal. He does have short stubby legs because of that. Arboreal, of course, means that they like to live on trees and climb on trees and hang out on trees. Red Tegus are a very popular pet in South America and they are very loyal and gentle. Red Bull here is a male, and the way to tell that a male is a male is because of his cheeks. He does have really puffy cheeks, and he is in fact shedding. It's a common thing among reptiles. How long does it take? It usually takes anywhere from a few days to about two weeks. You guys came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> he is almost done. His skin has been replaced but he does still have some signs that it was happening. How old is he? This guy is about 13 years old, give or take. You're a big guy, aren't you? Older than you. Whoa. But you're gonna look like a 13. Can I hold him? Yeah. Oh, come here, little guy. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing? We're just done for the day? Huh? Just gonna relax? It is lunchtime. Whoa, what animal is that? So this is a Euromastix or a spiky tail lizard. These guys originate from the Middle East. This guy is one of the few animals on this planet that does not need any water. Like, like a, a camel. camel! Well, a camel does still need water. But this guy gets all his hydration from the bugs that he eats. And these guys are also great weather predictors. So, as you guys can see right now, what color would you say that he is? Brown. Right. Fuchsia. He is gray dull. But as summer comes around and as the weather starts to heat up, he will turn very orange. And as fall rolls around after that, he does turn more yellow. Because it gets colder. How'd you know that? And of course, there is his namesake, his main weapon, his spiky tail. They like to defend themselves from much bigger lizards. You're so cool. <laughs> Speak. No, that's a hole. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is a snake. Cool! What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail boa. Hi, Tree. And she's doing exactly what her body was made to do. She's holding on to my body as though it were a tree. These guys are pretty good at climbing. She uh, might start climbing you if you're okay with that. She likes you. Uh, uh, why do I get the oh. part with the head? <laughs> so you're gonna notice she's gonna hold on tight to you, like I said, and she's just pretending your bodies are trees. They're pretty good at holding on. You're gonna feel her muscle curling up around you. I sure um, do. <laughs> Snakes have something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And that's why they're continuously taking their tongues out to kind of smell their environment. You're also going to notice she's really loving your bodies. You guys are mammals. You're warm-blooded. She doesn't have that privilege and she's cold-blooded. So she is dependent on her environment temperature. But you guys are nice and warm, so she's going to hold on very, very tight. She likes selfies? She loves selfies. She's pretty good at it. They do a scared one. <laughs> Yay! So 
So this is Marley, and Marley's are all Bino Burmese python. Uh, pretty young. Uh, these guys can get to be over 200 pounds and over 20 feet. Um, so obviously, it's just me holding. He doesn't have any feet. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you guys want to hold? Yeah. Oh, we do? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Marley, look at that tongue. Look at those eyes. Bye, Marley. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Oh, how about the tarantula? Uh, what about the turtles? All right, let's go see the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> turtles! Oh, no. Actually, they're tortoises. Meet Leonardo and Michael. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, turtles are aquatic, tortoises aren't. So you're looking at California desert tortoises. So do they like the heat? They love the heat. Yeah, uh, not too, too hot. It has to be kind of just right. When it gets too, too hot, then they'll go underneath the ground into their little burrows uh, to make sure they escape that heat. Because remember, these guys are cold blooded. They can't keep their own body temperature like these animals. Whoa. You know, speaking of desert creatures. I think we're ready to see Herbie. Perfect, follow me. How are you doing, Herbie? Softer. We're gonna give him the proper camel greeting. You can't really shake his hand. Um, you know, you don't you typically do this like you greet a dog, right? But if you blow into their nose, he'll blow right back at you. Everything I imagine feels so soft. I would love a pillow out of this. <laughs> get in there, I'll get a picture with you. Give me a profile, like him. Hey, Herbie! Hey, Herbie! Smile! What's in the hump? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, it's not water, because everyone thinks it's water, but it's actually not. Oh. Now look at those lips. They're uh, prehensile <laughs> lips, kind of grabbing on to all of those trees. Thank you. You're Bye. very welcome. Bye. Bye, Herbie. What a nice camel. Yeah. So this is Ursula. And Ursula is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Just like the name says it, she's from Chile. She's South American. When do you think we should run? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Don't let this deceive you. She can be fast, but she knows that we're not going to hurt her. Now she has about eight eyes and you think with so many eyes she could see really well, but she can't. So their bodies are covered in hair. That's how they sense their environment. So whether it's vibration in the air, vibration on the ground, she's able to sense all of that. Does it have fangs? She does. Let me show you what that looks like. You see all arachnids have venom. It just depends on the potency, of course. Look, maybe you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they need that toxic or that venom in order to kind of liquefy whatever they're eating. See, they don't have teeth like we do. Think of it like a bug slurp. So they kind of melt it in their mouth. Exactly. So they kind of slurp that melted juicy bug. Hey, good job, yeah. Park Ranger AJ. Um, so Park these guys Ranger. are herbivores. So depending on the species of tarantula, they might eat bugs, they might eat frogs or snakes, smaller mammals. So luckily here, we just feed her a good balanced diet of cockroaches and crickets. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> now, because the interaction is limited, and I know we don't just want to look at her, right? Yeah. We don't? I need a brave volunteer victim. <laughs> Can I uh, put Ursula on top of your head? She's pretty good at posing. Ah! 
that wasn't so bad. Do you want to do it again? No. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. That tarantula wasn't that bad. Uh, do you want to do it again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. Well, but we should get back to T-Rex Ranch. Yeah, we've got to feed the dinos. Right, we do. And feed ourselves. That's pretty healthy. I like this idea, Park Ranger AJ. I like this idea. Forty-three minutes earlier. Hello, babies. Hope you're staying out of trouble. I got some egg watching to do. Now, why won't you hatch? Can I help you, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, I was hoping to borrow one of your books. Oh, that's great. I'm so excited you're showing an interest in reading. Let's see. We've got a modern history of paleontology. Can you dig it? Tales of a fossil hunter. Oh, that's clever. It doesn't really matter. I just need them to walk over the lava. Walk over the what now? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, Park Ranger Bella, come take a look at this. On my way. Be careful of the lava. I'll take my chances. Does that look like a crack to you? I'm not sure. Think it's a dud? Could be. Or a dino master trick. Oh, I wish there was some way to find out. Why don't you call him and ask? Are you staring at me because I'm on the table or because of what I said? Both. Although. You're not thinking. I am. What would Park Ranger Orson say? Probably something like. I wouldn't trust the Dino Master as far as I can throw him. That's a good impression. Thanks. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. I bet he's having the time of his life. This is boring. Or not. Hard to say with him. We're all in agreement that calling the Dino Master is a ridiculous idea. Right. I mean, how would we even get a hold of him? Easy, like this. Yoo hoo, Arexa. Yes, Park Ranger Asher. How can I help you today? Call the Dino Master. We want to ask him a question. Calling the Dino Master now. I'm sorry. New phone. Who this? Oh, Park Rangers. Did you mean to call me? Actually, we did. Don't worry. This is weird for us, too. Well, I'm extremely annoyed that you called. What do you want? Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside, or... Or if it's one of your tricks again. No, not one of my tricks, I'm afraid. But, and I know you want to believe me, legend has it if you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, you... Actually, can you hold? What's he doing? Hello, this is the Dino Master. Still us. Oh, sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yes. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. See, you say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patanosaurus guardian, and win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. Come on. We don't believe you, Dino Master. Fine. Go see for yourself. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't like the sound of that laugh. It's the laugh I was born with. Listen, you called me. Got it. I think I know the place he's talking about. There's a clearing just north of the Photinosaurus Dome. They can have to hide a spiral rock formation. This is definitely the craziest thing we've ever done. Yeah. <sighs> okay, park rangers, let's take our unhatched egg on a field trip to the mystical dino spiral. Hey, Park Rangers. This is Park Ranger Orson. Well, I guess I'm not officially on duty, so I guess you could call me... On second thought, I still want you to call me Park Ranger Orson. Hey, I thought you were on vacation. I am, but I just wanted to check in and see how things were going. Why? What have you heard? Sorry, uh, what was that? To be honest, I'm, uh, pretty bored. So bored, in fact, I was thinking of calling up the Dino Master for a little excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how ridiculous? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. Bark Ranger Orson, over and out. I know, I know. But I can't tell them I'm spending my vacation in T-Rex Ranch. They'll think I'm crazy. Want some? I hope we're doing the right thing. Back soon, babies. Asher, you coming? Yeah. Do I need my backpack? Nah, I got mine. Let's go. Okay. You can't be too careful about the lava. <sighs> this is the Raptor River, but it's been dry a long time. Not much of a fiery lake, if you ask me. Wait, it's a Potanosaurus. Is he guarding the path? <coughs> Doesn't look like it. Maybe we can just ease on by. The Dino Master said to bow. How about a curtsy? <coughs> Bow it is then. No way we're getting past that guy. <gasps> it's the Stegosaurus staring contest. Leave it to me. I was the staring contest champion of my high school. Eyeballs might have dried out. Whoa! I can't believe the dino spiral was real. I can't believe the dino master 
Michael is telling the truth. Yeah, about everything but the lake of fire, apparently. Well, technically it's not a spiral, it's more like a maze. Let's go! I feel silly doing this. There's no way the adult version of the dino and the egg is going to show up when we put the egg in the center of the spiral. There's just no scientific basis. Eh, at least we're having some quality time together. I knew it. It's another one of Dino Master's tricks. Wait! <gasps> See? It worked. Hang on. Just because a Triceratops happened to show up doesn't mean that there's a baby Triceratops inside the egg. Judge the Dino Master. Still, it's kind of creepy. Let's get our new baby tri back to the Dino HQ. We'll be home soon, little one. Let's go this way. You gotta walk out the same way you walk in. That's just good Dino Spiral manners. Yeah, that makes sense. the lake of fire is real, and the bridge is gone. To be continued. Whee! Hey, Park Ranger. What's all this? Park Ranger Asher, come check it out. I found this trunk in a basement filled with all these interesting knickknacks. Like this old dusty notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there's no way we would ever know who it would belong to. This notebook belongs to Park Ranger Andy. Oh, wait, Park Ranger Andy? But that's me. I don't remember ever owning that notebook or any of this stuff. <gasps> I bet it belonged to the very first T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. My great, great, great grandpa Andy. Wow, he must have been pretty great. Yeah, it was okay. Hmm, look. He wrote a letter to future park rangers. <gasps> That's us. Dear future park rangers, I am writing from the year 1862, where I have just buried what I am calling a time capsule somewhere in T-Rex Ranch. This time capsule contains one very important item that could only be used by park rangers. In order to find it, I have devised what I am calling a scavenger hunt with clues that will lead you to the capsule and all the wonder contained therein. Good luck and happy hunting. Wow! 1862, that's almost... One, two, three, four, five. 160 years ago. 106 years? That's almost a million! Hmm. I wonder if the time capsule's still there. Well, there is only one way to find out. Scavenger hunt! Backpacks? She yet. Shovels? She yet. Dino freeze ray? Uh, dino freeze ray? But we're just going on a full little scavenger hunt, no? Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good point. Go to the place where the winged dinos sleep and try not to make a peep. Hmm. Most dinos weren't classified back in Grandpa Annie's age. Tyrannodon? Maybe. Or the Tannosaurids. Their name means winged lizard. That's some good thinking, Park Ranger. 
I hope I'm as smart as you when I grow up. Now let's go find us a time capsule. Wait. You need to drive. Oh, okay. You say so. Well, looks like we found a Patinosaurus. So, now what? I mean, if only we had some kind of marker. Oh, well, what do you know? It's time to start digging. <gasps> I found something already. Oh, this is good. Oh, got it. Oh, this is pretty simple. Look at it. I think I got something. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, pieces here. Oh, wow. Don't make me beg. Go to the place where the spiny lizards lay their eggs. Well, we know what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we do. You don't know, do you? I do, I do. Spikes are what spikes. Spikes. <laughs> Let's just go. I knew it. I think you mean X marks the spot. Uh, that's what I said. Just be careful, because if a Spinosaurus sees us, we're goners. So we're going to have to move very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Okay, not that slowly. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, I think I found something. Nice work, Fun Danger. Oh, shit, that's fast. Hang on, Fun Danger. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got something, I got something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Chuck Ranger Annie does it again. Let's start reading more writing! Are you sure you read the third clue correctly? Go where the running lizards hunt for food and hope against hope that they're in a good mood. That's a rat term, right? But what do we do now? I don't know. Great, great, great Grandpa Andy was great at many things, but my includes was not one of them. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, where the raptors were. There it is. Grab the shovels. Ooh, here goes nothing. <laughs> uh, on second thought, why don't we just go back to Dino Headquarters where it's, you know, safe and quiet? I mean, after all, I don't need no dusty old time capsule, do you? Well, it's not about the time capsule anymore, because if we don't complete the mission, then who will? You know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you're always right. Right? Let's do it. Oh, things are looking up. Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> I got you now. Hey, where you going? <laughs> oh. Told ya. Huh. You did good, Park Ranger. You did good.
Okie dokie, here we go. What to do? The time capsule is located 200 paces beyond Dino HQ. Oh, are you kidding? After everything we went through today, it was right behind Dino headquarters the entire time? Oh. I'm beginning to think your great, great, great grandpa was in all that great. You could say that again. After all, how many times today were we put in Ham's way? I think it's Harm's way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ham's way. After all, pigs are very brave. What? 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Shovel, please. <laughs> dig, dig, faster! Dig, dig, keep digging! <gasps> Found it! Help me, help me! Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What'd we find? What'd we find? It looks like a dino remote control! What would you do? 1862, present day. <gasps> I think it's a time machine! Wait a minute! What if it's not? What if it's something really, really bad, like something that drops a brachiosaurus down from the sky on us or something? This is a time machine. Huh. Nope. Well, proceed. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Go diggity, where am I? Oh, hello, handsome. You look awfully familiar. Well, I should. I'm your great, great, great grandson, Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. A pleasure to meet you. That must mean you discovered my time machine. Be sure did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see that it still works. May I take a look, see? <gasps> Not bad for an antique, eh? I built this time machine in order to bring dinosaurs from the past and study them in our present. And that is how T-Rex Ranch began. We had no idea. But we have so much to talk about. Yeah, and you should come see all the new gadgets we've invented. I would be delighted. Uh, uh, I'm going to take what I'd like to call a rain check. Gotta go. They left us with all kinds of questions. Aww. You know what? He left me with a brand new hat, too. A brand new old hat. How'd you look? Oh! <laughs> By Jimmy Jank! That was close. <laughs> Bug spray? Check. Jurassic bug spray? Check. Walkie talkies, check. Firewood, check. And now for a very important security item. Thanks, Spike. No need to tell Park Ranger Andy about this, okay? You're not the only secret in this tent, right, Sneeka? Oh no! That's it. You still got a park ranger, Andy. You have now put up this tent exactly 200 times. Put this up 200 times and this happens every time. Hey, park ranger Asher, how you coming with your tent? Come on over. <laughs> What? What? Uh, how? Uh, when? It's my new tent. You like it? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Come check on the inside. There's an inside, too? Oh, how? Oh. Hey, Park Ranger Asher, did you bring a suitcase camping? Don't worry. It's filled with very important camping supplies. 
very important camping supplies. What? How'd that get in there? Mm-hmm. Well, at least we got the firewood kindling. Ew, why is the firewood kindling all wet? Oh, I washed them. Good gravy, man. Why? So I wouldn't get my suitcase dirty. Oh, that makes sense. But you know what? That is what camping is all about. Getting a little dirty, reconnecting with nature, and earning your courageous camper badge. I'm ready. Just tell me what I need to do. Forge edible berries? Places plant identification? All great ideas, Park Ranger Asher, but to earn your courageous camper badge, you must make the perfect s'more. That's not fair. What if it's perfect for me and not for you? Park Ranger Asher, the perfect s'more is undeniable. Which means I'll know it when I taste it. Um, we might not get the chance. Yeah. Where'd all the marshmallows go? Uh, here's what we do. You're gonna forage in your bags for some other marshmallows, and I am gonna go get us some dry firewood kindling. Out in the very scary, scary dark. In that case, you might need a lantern. Good idea. Ah! There's something out there. And just in case, something to protect yourself. Okay, but just in case. Keep an eye out for baby dinos. Yeah, of course I will. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? The baby dinos are all at Dino headquarters, no? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Then I wasn't suspicious at all. Do <laughs> you? I never knew it would be so hard to find sticks in the woods. In the dark, dark woods. Where was that? You know what? There are too many dinos everywhere. I hope our Granger Asher's having a better time finding marshmallows than we are finding sticks. Look! Sticks! <laughs> Perfect. And they're dry. Some more marshmallows in here somewhere. Oh. oh, safely back to camp. And now it is time for us to make a campfire. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Uh, Park Ranger Asher? Is that you? Uh. Park Ranger Asher, you copy? I might need some help out here. Am I doing double? What's up, Park Ranger? <laughs> There's something hiding in the dark bushes. And I think it's a dino. Just get to the point. The, the, the dino ghost. <laughs> what does this dino ghost look like to you? Oh, it's like this big, but, but even bigger. And it's got these giant red glowing eyes. <laughs> Maybe in the... Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, that's some good thinking. I'm sorry for overreacting. <laughs> oh, look, marshmallows. Oh, yeah. spare marshmallows. Park Ranger Andy, I think I found your dino ghost. <laughs> you can come out now, it's all safe. 
I can't. Why not? Uh, I think I'm stuck in a sleeping bag. Park Ranger Andy, this is like the 200th time. That's what I call the perfect s'more. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Does that mean I get the courageous camper badge? Maybe, but I should try one more s'more, just to be sure. I think she said you have to share your s'mores. Maybe we could split it? Fine. Oh, Sneeka. Okay, Rosie, time to test yourself and see if you have the Park Ranger Pledge fully memorized. <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best to one, always seek out adventure, two, never stop inventing, three, always keep exploring, and four. Oh yeah, four, never give up. Gosh, I'm good. <gasps> oh. Park Ranger Andy, what happened? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, Park Ranger Rosie, you won't believe the morning I had. Which I will describe to you in detail after these messages. So here's what happened. I was out doing my post first breakfast gardening when all of a sudden, a big gust of wind blew a piece of paper right my kisser. It seemed to be a map of T-Rex range leading to a buried treasure. I followed the map with perfect precision, using my considerable navigational skills and my expert knowledge of the park and its subtle landmarks to forge the most efficient and direct path to the treasure. If you saw me out there, you probably would have thought I looked graceful and strong, like an allosaurus on a hunt. This map was a tricky one, full of riddles and visual puzzles, but using my powers of deductive reasoning that I've learned in all my years as a park ranger, I discovered the secret way of reading this map. And then I found the hidden cave. Hello? I ran some tests to determine the depths of the cave. Now, being the brave park ranger that I am, I wasn't at all nervous about exploring a dark and empty cave all by myself. Not at all. After exploring for hours and moving impossibly large boulders, I remembered that I had already found this treasure a few months back. Oh. It had been left there by T-Rex Ranch Rangers years ago. So it turns out I was looking for a treasure that I had already found. <laughs> Silly old me. Hang on, what did you find? Nothing, just a big old empty cave with a big old lady at the end of it. No, I mean the treasure you found months ago. What was it? <laughs> oh, let me introduce you to the Boom Boom Whistle. The Boom Boom Whistle? Oh yeah, it comes in very handy when you're being chased by a dinosaur. You see, you turn around and you blow the whistle and then the dino immediately has to stop and go poop. Ew. Tell me about it. But wait, what do you mean Park Rangers left the whistle there years and years ago? Oh, well, for as long as T-Rex Ranch has been around, Park Rangers have buried treasure for future Rangers to find. It's a T-Rex Ranch tradition. Really? Like what kind of stuff? Oh, sometimes a gadget or a a dino toy or ancient relic from the past. But 
that doesn't explain why you're all dirty, covered in twigs and leaves. Oh yeah, well, that's the second part of the story. While I was making my way back to Dino headquarters, I was so exhausted from all that exploring that I accidentally wandered into the raptor trails. Oh yes, the raptor trails. I was hoping he wouldn't see me as I was using my expert camouflage skills. But then my alarm went off, reminding me to feed the baby dinos. It alerted the raptors. They looked up, they looked at me, they zeroed in on me. They came running towards me. I knew my goose was cooked. They lunged from the left, they lunged from the right, and I knew that when I lunged together, they wanted to eat me for lunch. I spotted some bushes, and I ran, and I dove just in the nick of time, and the raptors ran right past me. And I waited and waited until a coast was finally clear. And thus ends the extraordinary story of how I got dirt on my face and more twigs in my hair than usual. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go wash the dirt off my face, remove said hair twigs, and so for now, I bid you adieu. Vicky, I should bury a treasure for future park rangers to find. Time to pack this treasure chest full of super cool stuff. First, a handwritten note reminding future park rangers just how awesome it is to be part of a small secret group of people who know dinosaurs still exist. Next, a spare monkey talkie gadget that can make future park rangers sound like anyone they want. I love Brexit burgers so much! That's why I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I even eat them for meals between the meals. Brunch, dinner, and then fast. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what else I should put in. Buy 100 Rexa burgers, get one free? Psh, that's crazy! No one in their right mind would eat a hundred burgers just to get one free. This is going to the chest. And now, it's time to bury my treasure. Hmm. Can't bury it near the picnic tables. Do you need park rangers around? Gigantosaurus Gulch is nice and secluded. Seems like a great place to bury treasure. <laughs> Gigantosaurus, but I think that means I should find another place for my treasure. Bye! Stegosaurus Mountain. Perfect. Whoever wants my treasure will have to climb to one of the tallest peaks in T-Rex Ranch to find it. Time to dig! What in the wide world of dinos could that be? A dog toy? That's <sighs> not the best place to bury a treasure. Gosh, this is way harder than I thought. Maybe I should give up. No! What am I saying? Number four on the Park Ranger Pledge. Never give up. Time to keep searching. Even if I am getting a little tired. This is it, the perfect place to bury treasure. Even I don't know where I am. Oh well, time to start digging. No, 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 no. Where are you? Where are you? Water. I need water. <sighs> Much better. Park Ranger Andy, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my buy 100 Rex of Burgers, get one free punch card. I only had one burger left. Um, I have some good news and some bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I might have put your Rex Burger punch card in a treasure chest and buried it. Okay. Okay, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but, 
but I hadn't eaten all those burgers. And it took me almost two whole days to do it. Oh. I'm so sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I just thought it'd be a nice surprise for future Park Rangers. But I know just where I buried it, so we'll go and get it back now. Really? Yes, 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 please. Let's go. So, more good news, bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I forgot where I buried the treasure. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. I was so tired from trying to find the perfect place to bury it that I forgot to make a map. I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. We're probably never gonna find your Rexy Burger punch card. Aw, don't beat yourself up, Park Ranger Rosie. It's gotta be around here somewhere, and we are gonna sniff it out. Oh, yeah. I am highly motivated. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. Let's go find that treasure. Let's go. I think this is it! This fresh batch of dirt over here! Alright, let's get digging! I hit something! <gasps> oh, we found it! <gasps> oh, 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 my sweet, sweet punch card! How oh, I miss you so much! <laughs> I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I won't take your stuff without asking ever again. Oh, it's okay, Park Ranger Rosie. In fact, I think it's high time I put this punch card to good use. Really? Absolutes! How about you and me make our way down to Rex a Burger and I buy my 100th burger, which makes Burger 101 for you, not me. But you worked so hard for that free burger. After the day we had, I think we both deserve a burger. Maybe two. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a juicy Rexa burger at the end of a very long, long day. You can say that again. Oh, I think we wandered into the raptor trails again. Or that raptor just smells our delicious burgers and wants them for himself. Okay, that leaves us two options. One, we eat our burgers real quick and then run. Or two, we just run. I prefer option one, but I don't want to influence your decision. Actually, there's a third option. <gasps> Good idea, Park Ranger. <laughs> Ew. I don't think I'm so hungry for my Rexa burger anymore. No, oh, that's a shame. I'll take care of that for you. And uh, let's walk around, huh? Bah, humbug. What is wrong with you, Park Ranger Orson? Oh, it's the same every year. I just want the holidays to be over so we can get to January. A nice, boring month where nothing happens. This is very exciting. As a robot, I've never experienced the holidays before, so I have a lot of questions. Like, why are we decorating a dead tree? <laughs> wow, by the looks on your faces, like it's not the most wonderful time of the year. Orson's grumpy about Christmas and I think everybody caught it. Well, in that case, let's not celebrate Christmas this year. Instead, let's celebrate T-Rexmas. What's that? T-Rexmas is the bestmas, most fun holiday there is. Wow. 
Whoa! But don't take my word for it. Step inside the T-Rexmas Holiday Wonderland and see for yourself. Should we follow her in? I'm not really sure. Yeah! What's the worst that can happen? You mean this isn't normal? All right, well, let's see what this is all about. Yay! Perhaps you've never heard of this mammoth holiday. There's dinosaur cookies and dinosaur carols. It's dino all the way. It's T-Rex mess. The giant stegosaur ornaments are really quite a sight. There's dinosaur wreaths of dinosaur teeth and festive dino lights. And then there's raptor claws. Whoa, whoa. Raptor claws? Really? Of course! Raptor claws is a friendly velociraptor who helps good boys and girls. baking, upgrade the decorations on the tree, maybe design our new wrapping paper. We might have to rethink that plan. But who would steal our beautiful dead tree? I have a pretty good guess. One, two, three. Wait, where's our baby Parasaurolophus? I'll do a thermal scan to check for the baby's heat signature. I'm not getting anything. The fourth baby isn't in Dino HQ. Which means that whoever stole our tree and decorations also stole our baby Parasaurolophus. Yes! Took you long enough. What were you waiting for? A written invitation? The Dino Master! You stole our presents! And tree! And all of our decorations! 
Well, except for this glittery snake. And our baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Hold your holiday horses, Park Rangers. I did borrow your presents in your tree for a much bigger surprise. <laughs> but I know nothing about a missing baby dino. You gotta believe me. After all this time, why should we believe you? <sighs> Story of my life, Park Ranger Orson. And I've been thinking about that a lot lately. In fact... I try to explain, it doesn't do any good. I'm all too familiar with being misunderstood. Like a wall built between us, it's the burden of genius. I'm the smartest, I'm the best of the great masterminds. Sorely unappreciated in my own time. What else is there to do when no one understands you? Create some mischief, make a hello. The name's Dino Master, and my game is disaster. I'll raise a ruckus, I'll take command. You're all just puppets, controlled by my hand. I'm a sensation, a cause and frustration, and I keep making trouble just because I can. The name's Dino Master. It can get lonely at the top And I'm often annoyed that you're the ones in the dark But I'm the one in this void My gadgets are brilliant My invention's supreme And I've designed the coolest mask that the world's ever seen Got more charisma than an actor Wowing Broadway I'm more cunning than a raptor That's hunting for prey I'm better than bad I'm the best of the worst Move over, all you new school villains! I was here first! His name's Dino Master, and his game is disaster. That's right! I'm being honest, you must understand. Stealing your Parasaurolophus isn't my plan. There's some foundation to your accusation, but on this occasion, I'm an innocent man. You gotta believe me! Me. I have to preserve my voice for tonight's performance. Hope to see you tonight after the sunset at the Dino Spiral. And then you'll give us back our baby pair for all of us. I can't promise that because I didn't take him. Didn't you listen to my song? Anywho, diddle <coughs> To our big surprise at the end of this tale, find the hidden holiday egg along the raptor shells. All right, here's the plan. Sam, Maisie, I need you two to get out there and find that hidden egg. Hopefully you'll get us one step closer to our baby para. Copy that, Park Ranger. Bella, Asher, and myself will take on an equally dangerous mission. Crafting and hot cocoa preparation. There may be paper cuts, a scalded tongue or two, but whatever adversity we face, we will not let the Dino Master stop us from celebrating our very first Team Rexmas! Yeah! Okay, guys, let's do this. Raptor claws on three. Come on, humor me. One, two, three. Raptor claws! That's more like it. I think we're here. Do you see anything? Not yet. Wait! The egg is just by that old gnarly tree, but there's a raptor just behind it. I see him. Onboard Invisispex. There's no way I can get to the egg while that raptor's guarding it. 
You're right. But I can. <sighs> uh, curse these rough-hewn hands. I need tiny, nimble fingers to spread glue on these popsicle sticks. Like this guy over here. How do you do that? <sighs> here goes. Park Ranger Maisie, I got it! Great job, Sam! Very bad breath. <sighs> Maisie, we have to run. But I can't run as fast as you. Okay, I'll use my dino freeze ray. Uh-oh, what's wrong? It's too dry. I need moisture for the dino freeze ray to work. What do we do? Close your eyes and think happy thoughts. Open your eyes, Sam! It's him! The friendly velociraptor who helps with boys and girls? That's right! This is ridiculous! Let's just go back to the Holiday Wonderland and borrow some decorations from there. Good idea, Park Ranger. What? what? Aww, but I've already made so many. Park Ranger Maisie. Go for Orson. We found a holiday egg. Can you meet us at the Dino Spiral in five? Copy that. We'll see you shortly. T Rex Miss Decorations will have to wait. Let's see what the Dino Master has up his sleeve. Hi, Park Rangers. How was crafting? Great! But we do have some news. Bella opened up the Holiday Wonderland portal and the baby Parasaurolophus walked out. He was inside the whole time, so. Surprise! Oops. Hello, Park Rangers. It's almost time for your holiday surprise. I trust you found the hidden egg and survived the rock the trail. Yeah, no thanks to you. Honey, I've only heard thanks to you. Well, now that you've got the egg, I want you to place it at the center of the dino spiral. Then back up. Well, let's see what happens. Now I've seen everything. Raptor Claws is real! What? what? Previously on T Rex Ranch. But we shouldn't bother Orson while he's on vacation. Our golden dino egg isn't hatching, and we're wondering if there's actually a baby dino inside. Or if it's one of your tricks again. If you place an egg at the center of the mystical dino spiral, a full-grown dinosaur will appear inside the egg. Sounds easy enough. You say that, but first you must complete three trials. Cross the lake of fire, bow to the Patanosaurus guardian, win a staring contest with the Stegosaurus. <laughs> This is the cutest one yet! Oh. M. Goodness. I can't believe the Lake of Fire is real. And the bridge is gone! What do we do? Lava's not in the Park Ranger handbook. First off, we don't panic. Let's put on our thinking caps. I just need them to walk over the lava. They've got everything. You can't be too careful about the lava. I did it! I figured it out! You did? The lava is not real, just like at the ranger station. It's just another one of Dynamaster's tricks. Asher, I don't know if this is a good idea. Trust me. Nice work, Park Ranger! Told ya! <laughs> yeah, and here's something I don't say very often. You were right. I'm 
so glad to be in headquarters. <laughs> you said it. All I know is I'm gonna have a word with the Dino Master next time I see him. And what word will that be, Cock Ranger Bella? I'm very curious. Lava. Yes, of course. Well, nobody's in fuego, so I'm guessing you've all passed my lake of fire. But who figured out that little puzzle? I did. Well done, Cock Ranger Asher. Clever and brave. It's a rare combination. What do you want, Dino Master? Oh, you know, chaos, confusion, a decent grocery store cookie, the same as everyone else. But mostly, my precious baby Triceratops and your butt. No way. Besides, you're just a hologram. You can't even do anything. Fair point. I personally can't take the baby try off your hands because I'm banned from T-Rex Ranch. But I've sent someone who can. Should I answer it? Go ahead, Park Rangers. It'll be a fun surprise. Rangers, meet my latest and greatest invention, the secret autonomous machine. I call her Sam for short. Oh, and do me a favor, don't pull her finger. <laughs> Ew, nothing gross. Wait, are you saying that she's a robot? Ding, ding, ding. Tell her what she's won, Sam. You have one hour to hand over the baby triceratops, or I am going to self-destruct. Lovely day for a walk, isn't it, friends? Come on now, single file line, please. All right, that's better. Come on. May I have your baby Triceratops now? I have to bring her back to the Dino Master. If he's already in the bag, you can just hand it to me and I'll be on my way. All right, no rushing, no pushing. <laughs> Who do we have here? I'm Sam. She's a robot. A secret autonomous machine. Sent by the Dino Master. To steal our baby try. Or else she'll self-destruct. In 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, you believe her. Look, Sam. We know you're not a robot, and I don't know how you got mixed up with the Dino Master, but we're gonna lead you to the gate and say our goodbyes now. How do you know I'm not a robot? Yeah, how do you know? Because no one can make a robot that looks and acts like a kid. Robots nowadays look like dogs and dance to Motown. What if I proved it to you? Sure, why not? See that big rock? I'm going to run there and back as fast as I can. Whenever you're ready. That was amazing. Can you go even faster? If I want to. Look, that was uh, very speedy, and I sure hope you're part of a local track and field club, but. Uh, what is that? For the sound of the falls? A T-Rex. Definitely a T-Rex. Which means we should probably get out of here. I can't tell where she's coming. My adrenaline levels are in the red. This is very exciting. <laughs> Do you think she's hungry? A 
Are you hungry? Uh-huh. That's a sharp little beak you've got there. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't you have some sort of a gadget or a blaster you can use? Yes, I do. You have an onboard dino freeze ray. That's amazing. Okay, now I believe Sam's a robot. Good, because you have 23 minutes left before I go. All right, Sam, have a seat. Sure, but there are 30 seconds left before I go boom, unless you give me that baby dino to take back to the Dino Master. And just so you don't forget, I will activate a terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. Terrifying alarm. What happened? <gasps> That's why the Dino Master said to not pull her finger, because then she'll shut down. Normally I'd say avoid pulling anyone's finger, but in this case I'd say it was the right decision. But the Dino Master's going to be wondering why Sam isn't back yet. She has to have some sort of control panel. Found it. I can do a reboot Oracle factory reset and set her to Dino Master's henchman, Robo Girl, or Real Girl. How about Real Girl? I will miss her eyeball lasers. Wait, what? Tell you later. Here goes nothing. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Maisie. This is Asher, Orson, and Bella. And we are the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Nice to meet you all. Uh, did I say my name was Sam? Yeah. Good. I can be very forgetful. Hello again, Park Rangers. I assume Sam is on her way with... Sam? What are you still doing there? Do I thought my baby Triceratops? Who's the dude in the cape? That's the Dino Master. He's our bad guy. <laughs> You've turned my creation against me. What's a guy gonna do to catch a break around here? Come on, it's getting ridiculous. He's very dramatic. Oscar winning. Okay, Sam. You're a secret autonomous machine who no longer has to report to the Dino Master. So the question is, what do you want to do? Can I stay here? I like your uniforms. You. Thanks. How do you feel? I feel like I've had a very long day. Do you ever feel like that? Boy, have we. minutes earlier. Stegosaurus? Schmegosaurus? I'm Park Ranger Maisie, and taking care of dinosaurs at a super secret dinosaur sanctuary is no big deal for me. Isn't that right, girl? So let me take care of your persnickety poodle, or your rough and rowdy Rottweiler while you're on vacation, or, or, line? Need a break for the day? Do I say cut? Who says cut? You're doing great, kiddo. Don't call me kiddo. Copy that. Want some water? Pistachios. Gotta keep the town happy, am I right? I'll pass. But I appreciate you both for helping. Anything to help a fellow park ranger. And when we finish, we'll earn our movie master park ranger achievement badge. Okay, everyone, back to one. What does that mean? I don't know. 
I just heard it on the movie once. I think it means we just go again. And when you're ready, let's go with your slogan. No mutt is a mistake with Maisie. No mutt is a mistake with Maisie. And no mutt is a mistake with Maisie. And no mutt is a mistake with Maisie. Action! Mo Butts is a mosquito and jet ski. Now I say cut, right? What are you guys doing? We're shooting a commercial for Maisie's weekend dog sitting business. Maisie's Mutt Motel. All tails welcome. That's the slogan, in case you were wondering. I see. Other animals have tails, though. Not just dogs. What if someone wants to drop off a Komodo dragon? Great point. Uh, okay, well how about all tails welcome, except Komodo dragons. Better? Want to take another take, Park Ranger, Macy? Sure, but this time, I'm going to put on my lucky hat. It'll help me remember my lines. Uh, Max? You know what happens when Stegosaurus eats too much of that purple poodle bush? Um, he'll be okay for just one more take. And action! No mutt is a mistake with Maisie! <laughs> That's what happened. <coughs> Oh, it went right down my throat. Uh, Park Rangers, please report back to HQ. This is not a drill. An egg hatch is imminent. Hey, guys, let's take a quick commercial break and head back. I am so excited about baby dinos. I could squeal. But I'm not going to squeal because serious paleontologists definitely don't squeal. What are we gonna name it? I'm thinking Key Rock. It's a Brachiosaurus, of course. I guess it could be anything. Everybody freeze! I think it's working. out on? Well, uh, good for you. Exercise is very important. Now that you're back, let's take it down a notch or two and give our baby dinos a peaceful birthing experience. Come on. Any more name ideas, guys? Angela, if it's a girl. I've always thought that she was. And Engelbert, if it's a boy. Lasagna! What? I'm hungry. Oh, it's a Brachiosaurus. It's a little baby. Oh, look at the little sugar bottom. What? My mom calls me that. on a group run, were ya? I mean, 
protect her. I don't understand. I used the dino freeze ray, froze the T-Rex, and then tossed him out into the park. <laughs> really getting tired of this guy. Hello again, Park Rangers. While you've been distracted with the hatchings, I hacked into the dino security system. And turned off the T-Rex fence yet again. What do you want from us, Dino Master? Oh, nothing crazy. Just one of your eggs. That will never happen. Oh, send away that mean old T-Rex for the price of an egg. Seems reasonable to me. How do we get you an egg? Simple. Just use the Dino Zapper to transport the egg from your little hollow to me. The Dino Zapper. I'll take care of it. Oh, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now hold up your end of the deal. Hmm. I don't know why you think an evil mastermind plays fair and square. <laughs> but I'm gonna get a new today, so sure. Um, where's my egg? Should be here by now. Surprisosaurus. Okay, what just happened? What just happened is that I used the dino to disappear instead of the dino zapper. Then I reversed the stream, so our dino egg never actually left. Looks like someone just earned their gadget guru badge. Uh, that is not fair! You guys are playing by the rules! Too bad, Dino Master. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my egg in soon. You pay for your disrespect. I'm Park Ranger Maisie. And taking care of dinosaurs at a super secret dinosaur sanctuary is no big deal for me. No mud is a mistake with Maisie. All tails welcome. Oh, come on. I can't take all the credit. This was an equal creative collaboration with Park Ranger Action and Park Ranger Matt. Who have more than earned their movie master Park Ranger achievement badges. You're not going to leave us if this new dog sitting business is a hit, right? What? No! I love adventure way too much to leave T-Rex Ranch. Besides, I'm pretty sure I can't shoot a misbehaving dog with a freeze ray. You, on the other hand, better mind your P's and Q's. <laughs> okay, Park Ranger AJ, what do you think the biggest animal that's ever lived on a planet is? Do you think it's like a giant monkey or some kind of enormous blue-tailed squirrel? Probably a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like which kind? Maybe the Brachiosaurus? Could be. And that's what we're here today to find out. The biggest animal in the world? That's right. Why in the forest? This is not just any forest. This is the brrrr, the prehistoric forest. Well, that's convenient. I thought so. Let's go figure it out. Yep, the Stegosaurus. This dinosaur could be it. Yeah, he's pretty big. 30 feet long, 11,000 pounds. Ah, but I don't know. Still might be other contenders out there. Yeah. Chud! Who's that? Hey. You talk dino? <laughs> He's pretty big. Parasaurolophus. It can grow to be up to 33 feet long. That's three feet bigger than the other dino. Huh. So, so far, this is the winner. Yeah. You know, this is a member of the duck billed dino family. I wonder if he speaks duck. 
<laughs> Nothing. All right, I bet there's bigger ones out there. Let's go see. Chud! 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 What was that? You plow cephalus. Oh, yeah. Now look, this is no bigger than the other dinos. But here's an interesting fact, that these guys were so well protected that even the eyelids had on. Well, I guess he's getting some pretty good shut eye. Wish I had thought of that joke. Judd! Judd! Did you hear that? Judd! Yeah, I did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What's Chad? I don't know. All right. Did you? Triceratops! Oh, yeah! Now we know these. We got a bunch of them at T-Rex Ranch. Now, they're not the biggest, but they're certainly the heaviest. And the cutest. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's certainly not the biggest. Paleontologists say these guys were the cows of the Cretaceous period. The cows? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> he did it. Judd! Did you hear that? Did you? Yeah. Again. Maybe someone or some something thing is trying to tell us something. Maybe Chad is what we're looking for. Maybe you're right. Well, let's keep looking. You didn't like the move? Maybe you should have told the other joke. Tyrannosaurus Rex! The king of the dinos! This could be it. I mean, it gets to be 40 feet long and 20 feet high. And weighs as much as four pickup trucks. This could be Chad. Yes, no, Chad. Oh, not Chad, how's it possible? What is Chad? Where is Chad? Who is Chad? By hook and by crook, we're gonna go find out. Yeah. Excuse me, do you know what Chad is? Thanks, anyway. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where Chad is? Thank you very much. This is Chad, a whale. That's the largest animal ever. Wow. Wait, but what about the Mesosaurus from Jurassic World? Well, it's not a dinosaur. That's a marine reptile. And that only grew up to be 50 feet long. Well, what about the Megalodon? Which is actually a shark. And that got up to be only 59 feet long. So this thing is twice as large. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't understand why it's so blue. Cheer up, you're so big. A hundred feet long! What? Wait a minute, it says he's got a hundred feet. I don't see any feet. He's a hundred feet long. Oh, well, that makes more sense. It says here its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant? That's humongous, it's gonna be so heavy. So this is it? The biggest animal that's ever lived? And this is a small one, look. It's from a juvenile male. This is only 72 feet long compared to what it could be. It's not even fully grown. But they got one thing right. This is astonishing in every way. Wow. Chad, you've been calling us. We're so happy to find the answer to the largest animal on Earth. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is one of the loudest animals on Earth? Huh. I bet I could be louder!